back, everybody. Three years ago, our next guests were in this studio requesting I sing a Janet Jackson song, because they got good taste, for that day's Kelly Oki. Um, there's no way any of us could have known then that choosing to come here would prove to be a life-saving decision. It's a crazy story, y'all. Let's welcome Gabby and her parents, Michael and Kim. <laughs> and Gabby, this is a crazy story. I cannot yeah. wait for this to unfold for all of you. So take us back um, three years ago when y'all came here to the studio. Sure, so okay, three years ago, we came to the studio because we came just for a regular taping. Yeah. And then a few weeks later, we got a call from Morgan, one of your producers, and she was like, oh, like you filled out the survey, you want Kelly to sing a, jo a Janet Jackson song for Kelly Oki, and we'd love for you to be the spotlight singers to request it. And we were like, oh yeah, it'd be so cool. Like we were s freaking out, we yeah. were so excited. Um, but then we realized like after talking to Morgan a bit that it would be cooler if my parents came to request this song because it was really in honor of their 25th wedding anniversary. Yeah. So I wasn't going to be involved anymore. So they thought I was actually going to be backstage coming out to surprise them. I remember. But my mom didn't like that. So she was like, I don't want to do it without my daughter. And I was like, no, it's fine. Like, you're going to go with dad and he's going to be great. Like, it's going to be fantastic. And then he didn't want to come, not because of you, but because yeah. he had the medical procedure. Yeah. Um, so he You had... could have voted for Justin. It's okay. No. <laughs> Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly. Trust it's me. okay. Trust me. Um, so he didn't want to put it off, but I was like, there's going to be, like, something special is going to happen, which was me. And you have to go. Like, you please trust me. Like, you've never trusted me before, but trust me now. Yeah. And then he was like, all right, I'll go. So you put off a medical procedure. Yeah, because in the end, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and then, this is how you've made right, it 25 years. <laughs> and, then, and then a happy daughter was a bonus. Yeah. So yes, I, I came to the show. I know, so you put off something that maybe most of us would have gone, well, wait, I gotta get this medical procedure done. So this is the interesting part. So Kim, that moment on the show ended up being super special. Well, it was super special just to be here with you to begin with. You are like my idol. If somebody said if there are three people you'd ever want to meet, you are one of them. So Aww, being that I was here just for that was amazing. So I requested the song. You and I did a little banter. It was super yeah. cute. Yeah. And then you said, and behind the scenes, somebody else requested the song. And I'm standing there thinking in my head, who's stealing my thunder? <laughs> Next thing I know, my daughter comes out and I'm just like literally blown away. So the best day ever turned into the bestest day ever. So, I yeah, it was love awesome. that. Yeah, it was awesome. I was telling her in the break, she was saying, you've been a fan for a minute and you voted. And I said, thank you for my career. Because <laughs> I really do appreciate everyone that voted. Um, but Michael, um, things took a turn though a few days later, right? After the taping? Yeah, the, the taping was magical. The staff was incredible. We had a, a Thank great you for time. That. Yeah. Um, but a few days later, I just was feeling off. And I couldn't walk up steps without like grabbing onto my chest. Hmm. So we went to the emergency room and they did blood work and they admitted me immediately. So uh, after a few more tests and uh, another one called a, a bone biopsy, uh, the doctor walked in and said to me, uh, you have a rare form of leukemia called hairy cell. And basically you have no immune system. It's all gone. Um, which basically puts me in a lot of danger. Mm. Um, COVID was just coming in. Uh, so basically I uh, did not go to this procedure and thankfully I didn't because any little thing could have happened and it could have been fatal. Because so, they didn't know that you Because they didn't know, yeah. no one knew. Yeah. So basically this show Saved kept me from going to the procedure and um, after the doctor told me what was going on, all I could say from the first second on was, mm. what are we gonna do about it? Like, what's, what's the plan? Let's, let's get it on and let's do it. And then I just started uh, chemo four days later. I mean, Morgan turned from producer to angel she for did. your family. <laughs> oh, I'm like, yeah. gosh. Like, what are the chances that you put something off and then, you know, that could have been fatal. And that's just the craziest story crazy. to me. Yeah. And, and a beautiful luck is what it is. It's the most amazing thing ever. I actually don't believe in luck either. I believe in something bigger than exactly. that. Exactly. Yes, yeah. but, but Gabby and Kim, so you were both focused on staying positive through this, right? Yeah, so. I feel like that's all you can do. Mm. We had two options. We could just give up and say, this sucks, or we can be positive and try to push through it. And obviously we chose the latter. We wanted to be there for my dad mm. in ways that he's always been there for us. And so 
on December 6th, that was the day that our taping actually ended up airing on TV, and it was the day that his chemo treatment was meant to start. So the doctors and nurses were so accommodating, they timed it, so his treatment started as we were watching it on TV. So we were able to okay. use it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that part. <laughs> yeah, so the reason we were able to get through such a difficult moment is because we were able to, we had that to look forward to, because we knew that was gonna happen, and yeah. they were just so incredible, and. We're just we're so grateful for all of it, and it was just such a magical experience to have together. And which is it's such a, a devastating time, but to have right. that positive spin on it, it's it's a, you're a beautiful family. Thank you. Oh, thank you're you. definitely half glass full. I'm just like, good lord. So Michael, that was three years ago today. So how are you feeling today? Uh, well, today I'm feeling strong. I'm in remission. Um, and that is in. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and um, I'm just. Um, Thankful for everything. Uh, I don't have to get blood work every two weeks anymore, yeah. uh, which I never liked getting blood to begin with. Yeah. Uh, but now I'm up to every six months. So I just have to keep track of what could possibly happen in the future. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're good now. I'm yeah, good now. Good now. Good now. She's reminding you. She's like, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm good. You're so good. December, December 6th, um, that has even become a holiday at your house, right? Yeah. So I love this. We celebrate December 6th every year. We call it Kelly Clarkson Day because it was the day. <laughs> oh, you didn't know. I, that. <laughs> I thought you were just celebrating. Oh, no. Your national no, it's holiday. Kelly Clarkson. Oh, no. It is oh, no Kelly Clarkson okay. Day. Because the day where we talk about the experience that we had on the show and the experience just like getting to work with people like Morgan and your staff and getting to meet you and mm -hmm. getting to be together as a family as one of the last moments that before we knew anything was wrong with him. Yeah. And then it's, instead of remembering it as, oh, it's the day he started his chemo, it's now, it's Kelly Clarkson Day. It's yeah, like, as a, that is a matter of fact, when he was in the hospital, the Christmas season just started, yeah. and I didn't want him to come home for the holidays with nothing. So I decorated his room with all sorts of lights and Christmas trees and pictures from the show. Yeah. And then um, I didn't know what to do for our Christmas tree. I just was in a somber mood. So I took pictures, <laughs> as you can see, and we had a Kelly Clarkson Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. And that's how we celebrated our Christmas. And there you are, all the way up at the top of the tree. You are now our angel. I, you're, you guys, <laughs> you're giving me way too much credit. It's very nice, but I just think it's such a, it's such a beautiful lesson with your family to like, like something so tragic happens and it, that can devastate people and send people into depression, send people down oh, yeah. a road that's hard to come back from. And the fact that you're putting this positive spin on it and like celebrating like in a different way is incredible. Well, it, it, it was hard. And I was coming home, in my mind, I was coming home for Christmas Eve. Uh, there was no doubt in my mind. Yeah, and I for a while. pretty much willed myself, well, I had to wait for my numbers to come up to a certain degree before they let me out. Yeah. And I just willed myself and I was home for Christmas Eve. Oh. Positive thinking does a lot. Well, I am honored to play a small part in your family story, also your Christmas tree. Um, and I have some good news, y'all. Our sponsor, NetSpend's All Access mobile account helps people manage their money and build a better financial future. NetSpend's mission is to empower people to achieve their financial dreams by providing access to innovative financial services and a wealth of kindness. NetSpend loves how you came together to support one another through truly difficult times. So NetSpend wants to give you $20,000. What? To help that with them. Yes. It's no. a, yes. Are you yes. freaking kidding me? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying? Oh my God. Are you guys? Are you family? Thank you. Oh you're just God. a crying <laughs> family and you're so Shut sweet. Shut up. And I'm this like for real? You're shaking. Don't tell her to You shut literally, up. no, that's like you're oh like one God, of my I girlfriends. I just told Kelly Clarkson to shut up. It's okay. I like it. It's like my love language.